Hey, it's Steve Messina again from YourBizSuccessCoach.com, continuing my 90-day series for helping you build your home or small business. And today, what I want to talk about is the next step in your marketing process. Now, we've talked about email marketing and following up with your customers, or your potential customers, that is, uh, as they come through and opt into your landing page and then take them step by step and give them additional information in the process of ma making a decision to buy. Well, one way that you can actually take them to another level without them actually talking to you directly and give them that offer to connect and get more information where you can also build a lot more trust and a lot more uh, of a, a following and give them the expert information they need is through webinars. And webinars are uh, really a, a tool that you can invite a lot of people to at one point in time, okay? You can schedule a webinar and you can basically put yourself out in front of your audience live. So now they get to hear you, they get to uh, see what you're, hear, hear and see your passion, especially if you do a live webinar where you're on camera, or if you're doing a screen sharing a webinar, you can see the tools that you're using or the products you're promoting or the services you're offering uh, through the use of a computer screen uh, or a PowerPoint uh, presentation. But at the end of the day, what they're really getting is you, live. Hearing you, hearing your voice, hearing uh, what you're all about and why they'll benefit from using your products or services. So that's the beauty of, of using a webinar is taking the time and putting yourself in front of the prospect for an extended period of time um, so they could get to know, like, and trust you. So I definitely recommend webinars as a way to promote your business. And to do it right, you really need to get in the process of scheduling them consistently because you're going to find that uh, when you start doing webinars, you're going to run into errors. You're going to make mistakes on one webinar. You're going to need to go through the process of practicing your webinar presentation to improve upon it uh, so that as you continue to drive prospects to it on a consistent basis, that you get you become really good at getting them to take the next step. All right, And with webinars, you can get to the point where you can take, get them to take it in the next step that is maybe a bit of a, a riskier offer. And what I mean by that is you're asking them at, at the end of the webinar to buy, to buy something, whether it's your consultation services, whether it's a product, uh, whether it's a, a bunch of products, whatever it is, you can, uh, at that point in time, get them to take some action. And you can do so in a way that compels them to take action by offering scarcity or offering a discount or whatever it is you want to do to get them to take the next step. Because at that point in the process, they've been educated enough through your email marketing, and now they've gotten a chance to see you live or hear you live on the webinar and feel a little more comfortable through the process if you've given them the information that they need to help solve their problem or their wants and needs. So webinars are a great tool. I highly recommend you do so. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about a particular webinar software program that I use that is really easy to use, very inexpensive, and allows you to capture a large audience on the webinar and offers a bunch of automated tools to help you promote your webinar uh, as as you get it uh, as you get ready to uh, host it on a particular date and time. So uh, we'll get to that in the next video. In the meantime, if you'd like to talk a little bit more about webinars and how you can set it up for your business and how to present, let's get into some details by talking with me on a free consultation. Here's the link once again on the screen. Uh, set up, uh, click the link here. Uh, set up your consultation time. We'll sit down with a game plan a strategy for hosting a webinar and also give you some more details about the various tools you can use and uh, creating a great webinar that will compel your prospects uh, to take action and uh, buy your products or services. So that's all for today. Uh, look forward to hearing from you, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.